I'm just incredulous. Give it a phone, I say. Who else can it be? Well then... <laughs> what is amazing? Yeah... You're a big help. Next up is... Right! In that case... It would seem the disaster was averted. Right then. Today's for... Wonder what he's planning. I guess the church has to have some... Whatever it is, Luis won't be able to just ignore it. 
This might be a day that... Ladies and gents, lend me your ears. Sanctifex Forden has spoken. The giant face in the sky, the massive rocks appearing throughout the land, and the mysterious voice claiming to be the past king. The Sanctus Church has officially recognized these happenings as the will of His Royal Majesty. <gasps> so it really is His Majesty. And so, as His Majesty has decreed, whoever has gained the greatest trust of the people by the day of decision shall be our new king. This is a historic moment, good citizens. It's revolutionary. It's unprecedented. No matter who you are, Anyone? Even me? If, and this is a big if, you are the per- Maybe you could be king yourself, eh? Me? In charge? <laughs> well, that's the l First, the new faces that have appeared on the rock. It shows us who's foremost in the running. We've worked out that much. The top three of the lot are also shown in the sky. Suppose that way you can see their inspiring faces anytime, anywhere. Hold on. How's us common folk supposed to stand a chance against all these upper crusters? Say you do become popular. With your face clear for all to see, surely that'd make you a prime target. Not quite, friend. Not quite. A valid concern, but one his map popular aspirants, at least those who make it onto the rock, are protected by royal magic. A sack magic chains will spring to life and bind anyone who tries. I saw it happen with my own eyes. So, literally anyone could be king? But hold on, you mean to say we might not be ruled by Clamar? What does that mean for us? Right, I've said my piece. You know all I know. Now go forth, ladies and gents, and whether you're from our fair capital or the middle of nowhere, the crown's within your grasp. I heard the announcement. The church has chosen to recognize this face's words as crown sent. They conceded that one quickly. Though I suppose it's a hard thing to deny, what with the royal power. Had they rushed a coronation for his eminence, Forden, it would have dashed any hope of reinstating his highness. A small comfort. I can tell from your face there's some bad news, too. Do you recall those chains that froze Alsazen plainly? Any candidates of sufficient favor cannot be deposed by force. That's not good. No, tis not indeed. This marks Louis. I will still seek to find him. Yet, even sh No! If we can't kill him, then how- What the hell was the king thinking? Grius was trying to save his son. He died for it. Even so, without this magic, no aspirant would be safe from assassination. Leaving Luis to dominate through sheer marshals. <sighs> we appear to be. Everyone, have you seen Maria? Did something happen? I checked her room and she isn't there. She wouldn't just leave without telling anyone. I. I couldn't deal with losing both of them. I. I'll go look for her. You. You will? When I think of what might happen to. If she left her room on her own, she. Let's go search for her. If we head into town. Where? You're kidding! <sighs> Whatever. Hey! Ah. All right, then. Let's go.
I'm out of ideas. What are you doing here? Papa hasn't come home. And I always come here whenever I'm feeling lonely. One time he came here to get me. I remember because he called my name. But... I pray. And he still doesn't come back. Maybe because the cathedral is broken? Maria. Miss Fabienne says Papa can't come home anymore. But I know... Papa's gone away. He's gone somewhere I'll never see him again, hasn't he? It's... It's going to be so lonely. The loneliest it's ever been. But I have to be strong, don't I? But if it gets any lonelier, I... I don't know if I can do it. I'm sorry. I promised we'd all come back together. Why does everyone always leave? Mum was sick. The king and prince are gone. And now Papa? Why does everyone always leave? Is it my fault? I really did my best to be a good girl, but... That's not why. He's right, Maria. It's not your fault at all. Listen to me, all right? Your father, he... He was fighting a very bad man. We were with him, but... We couldn't protect him. I'm sorry. I remember Papa saying something like that. He said... A really bad man might be our king. Is that part of it? It'll work out somehow. I'm sure of it. Hmm. I hope the next king is as nice as you. Then maybe things won't always be so sad. Mm. I think I understand the king's intentions now. Maybe he wanted a world where the crown goes to one who acts like a... You may be right, but much as we wish it, this is not a fight that might be ended through. Even so. Maria, you're safe! Oh, you had me what? I'm sorry for leaving on my own. No, it's all. Miss Fabienne, I'm hungry. Maria, yes. That's right. Thank you for finding her. It looks like she's worked things out. She's a strong girl. But we've more troubles ahead. How now do we resolve this curse upon his highness? If Luis is the curse's caster, we've got to kill him to dispel it. I wish I could report back, but... The prince is still asleep. And we're losing time. We cannot lose faith yet. There must be some... Well, there's the church's announcement. I expect they're trying to stop a wave of rival candidates from... I doubt the church would accept this popularity contest if they didn't already have a plan to game it. True enough. I can only wonder at their aims. Oh. <sighs> 
Sorry, did I wake you? Laying here. I always end up caught in my own thoughts. <sighs> Just thinking in circles again. Not good, is it? Let's think about it together. <laughs> Keeping me company, are you? <laughs> that book? <laughs> Feels like months ago now that I spotted you buried in it on the carriage ride to the fort. Wanna read it? If you don't mind, since we finally some room to breathe. Oh, interesting. It's written through the lens of a fictional land. This bit's about the Utopia's security. In this world, there is no blood-stained contest for sovereignty. One cannot put a sovereign to the sword to seize power. Such an act would be met with scorn. Taking power or wealth by force is seen as the most shape. <laughs> Couldn't be further from reality, could it? We have king and this idea of competing for public support. Here it sounds so commonplace, but the idea perhaps I'm overthinking. But it sounds almost like the aim of the king's magic. You suppose still, I don't imagine this would turn out well in the real world. In public besides. Does a decision made by the people guarantee its right? Tribal squabbles aren't always political. Take us Clamars, for example. It can be with a majority, and the tribe of the royal bloodline besides. That privilege can make us a problem with no easy solution, I fear. Lofty words. I can hardly cut still. The discussion... I've been so fixated on killing Luis, but... Maybe we could look into whether... <sighs> Wait, how long have you been? Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Ladies and gents, have you heard the news? The curtain's about to rise. To choose our new ruler, we're going to give all of you a chance to take centers, and we call it... Our aspirants will set out on a grand tour of the three allied nation's capitals, taking part... First, we have the exhibition of the brave. Slay a monster plaguing our fair people and bring its head to <coughs> its young capital. Official word is, this event's open to all. Why call us so early in the morning? I had Fabienne bring it up. Something occurred to me, so I asked her to go through Grius's personal effects. Hey, looks like he was investigating. There's a note here. Given the spell's complexity, it must have required. You mean to suggest Luis possesses a written composition of the curse somewhere? And if we can find that. Yes! I'd wager, even if we can't kill Luis, we might still have a shot at breaking the curse. But that attack took place years ago, didn't it? This curse's formula could be lost. We have little choice but to hope it's not. I'm not saying it would be easy. And the real trick will be finding it. That reminds me. A crier for the church was handing... A flyer for the Tournament for the Throne. An interesting gamble for those politicians. I like the bit about all this being in the interest of fair, but saying it's being organized by the state. The throne's empty. This smells like the theocracy at work. Probably Forden himself. Do you think Forden's looking to fix the competition in his favor? He's been... In the interest of fairness, remember? If he wins a fair race, he gets legitimized. That bodes ill. Those with existing support could easily solidify their claim. If we don't hurry and find a way to get close to Luis, we're sunk. Ah! <sighs> Let's enter this tournament for the throne. Huh? Hey, were you... Besides, the prince? Wait. It sounds... <laughs> This could be just the excuse we need to get... He doesn't care about your tribe so long as you prove capable, yes? That's what Zorba was saying. Which means, even though the world looks down on you as an elder, having the power to kill humans puts... You're going to make him a... If all we need to do is get Luis's attention, then that's sure to get the job done. 
If we look. I see. An undercover operation, is it? Quite a gambit. Just hold on a second. Getting Louise's attention. What do you think? Having heard all this, do you want to enter the. Of course I do. No hesitation at. Right. In my ideal world, people can believe in their future. No matter who someone is, they deserve a fair country. If it's to help achieve that. Sheesh. So much for being a guide. Your resolve has marked you a fine fit for the role. I have trusted you with my. Good heavens. Haven't you put your. Listen to me. I don't want you going down the same path he did. Are you really this set on running off again? Yes. Oh. I'll be cheering for you in this mess of a competition. What's the competition? It's a big grand race to see who will be the next king. So you're going to try and become king? What? <laughs> you have your first advocate, it seems. Suppose you'll have to actually try for the throne now, eh? Your majesty. That was the plan from the start. <laughs> well, if we want Louise to notice you, we'll have to make quite a stir among the people. Does that mean you're not coming back? No, we'll be back. I don't like Maria. But I'll be cheering for you. I hope you win the race. You'd be a good... Thank you for... Yeah. Now, we best get registration out of the way, but we need some legs for the journey. Judging by this specified deadline, we are unlikely to reach the Principality of Oost. I bet all these fancy nobles have their own gauntlet. A carriage might save our chances. If we... Perhaps we split up for now. I'll leave you two to the registration. They should be taking entry. This should be the place, right? Excuse us. We're looking to join. I? Be young, ain't ya? And who's the kid? He I'm the one in. You? I've not heard of any age restrictions. Well, I'd not have thought it, but you're an elder, ain't ya? And you wanna be king. Could you just do your job, please? Can he register on. Ah. Weren't you in that pack of recruits that went off to the northern fort? What? We got a dessert? No, they said he'd just drag the company down, so they left him at the capital. He, um... Could swear I've seen you before. Well, I'd matters with no captain to verify it with. Go on, then. You can represent the less... <sighs> and, uh, obviously, you're gonna... You're obligated to attend the opening ceremony tomorrow. It'll be at the plaza at... We'll have to hope Hulkenberg can find us a carriage. As for us, I expect we should see about finding a monster to... Some postings over there. They should be offering bounties on monsters the guard can't handle. Let's take a look. Looks like everyone else had the same idea. One of these bounties is bound to make me stand out. But which? Hang on! There's nothing but... Are you lot here for this tournament, then? It's slow, I'm afraid. Most of my worthiest monster bill... How about requests on anything aside from monsters? Hmm. I suppose I've got one of those, yeah. Hmm. Well, he's horrible. Heisme. A villainous kidnapper. Looks like... This might just be perfect. Whoa! <laughs> you have any idea who that... That man's an elite. An ex-royal knight, they say. It makes... Besides, didn't you hear what it is that... Oh, of course. It's about whoever can bring it... If you imbeciles can't even get that straight, you've no chance of winning. Stuck up, little... He was right about the rules, though. Don't worry. I know what I'm... We're supposed to get a monster's head. So why are you going for a criminal? Any idea what he's up to? 
maybe he just wants to stop the criminal's evil deeds. We've got more important things to... Don't worry, I'll explain... As long as you can convince Hulk and... Hold there! Are you really taking the back? <laughs> you three must be... Your pardon, gentlemen. I'm Barton, a guard captain for Matira. A type... A guard captain? This fellow's made some powerful enemies. We can't afford lenience. On top of his past crimes, Heisme has stooped to abducting our wee ones. Our children. If our city becomes known for nightly disappearances, what sane resident would stay? Oui, ciao, come va? And trade will dwindle and die. But he's just a lone kidnapper, right? Even if he's some infamous criminal, why can't the guard handle it? That's the trouble. He makes us hide out somewhere too dangerous for our soldiers to tread. Deep in the territory of vicious giant worms. If you want to speak English, but uh, I'm not so fluent. I see. Tricky problem indeed. I had no choice but to swallow my pride and post a bounty. Yet no matter how many times I renew the bill, none have taken it. A pitiful sight, isn't it? A soldier who can protect us am Italian. by strength or by surrender. Laugh if you must. Oh, huh? okay. Tomorrow I don't... Uh, I didn't work, uh, so I was at home uh, every day. There's nothing pitiful about it. You only cast away your honor in the name of protection. Nothing pitiful in that. Swallow your pride no more, man. We'll take your contract. Ah. Thanks to you. You'd accept such a perilous... Hey, you, where are you from? Even with this tournament looming over everything. Closure. Thank you all. And thank God, in that case, we shall meet to Matira, the old castle town. Please, make haste. Well, no backing out of this now. You sure this is what we want? The way I see it, if we want to make a big impact this late, it's going to take some creativity. Besides... This is apparently a knight turned kidnapper. The man we lie, United States of America. What would His Royal Highness do in our place? I guess that's fair. I'll convince Hulkenberg. Somehow. You go on and accept the contract. Instagram uh, uh, Giovanni Ceniviva. If you read uh, my profile, you can uh, uh, found uh, <coughs> my socials. Wait. Later, I will re uh, write you. Uh, uh, when I stop uh, the game, I will uh, follow you. <laughs> uh, wait a minute.
I fo I I follow you now. On which? Hey. Yeah, uh, yeah, well. Let's focus. We. <laughs> no registration issues, I trust? No, indeed. And we found ourselves a perfect target. Fine work. Stroll. See? She's convinced. Nothing to worry about. Don't worry about it. I'll prepare a map of the surrounding areas as well. But never mind that. Have you found us a kingly carriage? Well, I have made some arrangements. How best to put it? The vessel itself is without peer. Supposedly, it will come to us on the day of the opening ceremony. Uh, you don't sound too sure about that. Oh, uh, <laughs> no, I'm certain. All I mean to say... Well, under the circumstances, I'll take what we can get. And setting that up in a day? <laughs> you needn't speak so... Though it is only my bond of service, I relinquish, not my title. We will shortly be seeking Luis's esteem. Should it come to light that I am a knight in active service, it may jeopardize our effort. Still, you didn't hesitate to leave. It was not an abrupt parting. I've come to doubt the order since returning to find them serving with those who refused the church's rule were cast out for their defiance. I only hope... Sounds like you've been through a lot too. Well, in any case, we can focus on our bounty contract now. Let's rest. cheering for you. I... Oh, no. I promised Miss Fabian I wouldn't cry. Oh, it's all right. You don't have to worry. Papa was trying to stop a bad man, you said. And that's what you're all doing, too. It... Please come back home safe. I'll be waiting here as long as it takes. It's a promise. All right. Promise? The next time I see you again. Can you tell me more about the outside world? This one's important. I never got a chance to say this to Papa. Captain, may I have... Good night. I was hoping for a chance to speak. Since our meeting, I've done nothing but impose on you. Now, you risk your very... It pains me to see. When I think of how this may yet save His Highness, I lose sight of all else. Such disregard <coughs> becomes me. Don't worry about it. It is kind of you to say. But that book, we met once before, on a carriage bound for the capital. Do you recall? Now that you mention it, I do. My apologies. I thought only to minimize cat. So, tis a novel envisioning an ideal world. Ah, you needn't worry. I've sometimes wondered why such books were forbidden. Rumors, yet I wonder. How could a simple book have possibly... So, it is a fiction written as if a personal account. This chapter seems to concern the system by which the nation's leader is decided. 
In this country, one cannot become even a statesman, much less sovereign, without the consent of the people. Those who aspire to statecraft must first solemnly swear before the people what they will do in service of... Should they earn title but break their... In this way, it is quite the opposite of our own country. Had our lands embraced such a... No. As a knight, it's not... I must clear my head of these fantasies. Oh, I suppose it takes power to walk the path of our... My dearest dream... Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. You need to assist the field. Judah! Lady Judah! Far away sky, blue and clear. I call my wish so that all may hear. One and all born to this land, as here we stand. <laughs> Even I'm feeling the heat. Well, I suppose it's time to fan the flames. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome one and all to the inauguration of the Tournament for the Throne. For the first time, the crown is anyone's to claim, as long as the aspirants can complete three grueling challenges. Wow, a Sanctus Cryer. He's perfect for this. Let's discuss the venues. We kick off in the west, in the Pearl of the Coast, the Principality of Oceana's harbour city capital, Port Brylhaven. There, they face their first challenge, the exhibition of the brave. Each contender must bring back the head of a monster, a mark of their prowess and courage. Next, our would-be monarchs head east. Upon the misty peaks, we arrive in the Principality of Montario's beautiful city of faith, Alterbury Heights. And finally, our heroes make their well-deserved return home to Grand Trad. But first, let's do introductions. It's time to meet those risking their lives for the crown. Closest to the throne, I know him, you know him. It's Sanctism's one and only 78 Sanctifex, His Eminence, Forden! Victory to Sanctifex Forden! I claim no great ambition, nor any heated calls to action. All I wish is to restore order for our people and to safeguard our land from the threats beyond. This chaos we face is but one of God's many trials. Let us restore our kingdom's glory together! Moving right along, we come next to His Eminence's champion, the very spear in his hand, the warrior monk captain of the Crown Theocracy, Master Gido. 
I come before you only in loyal service of his eminence. I relinquish the throne to him gladly. But those who would seize the crown by force, I will teach you to fear God and to fear me! So much for this being a fair competition. How many horses do the Sanctus have in this race? Still, it's not over by far. The Luis supporters won't take this lying down. What cowardice, Prior! Where's Count Louise? Right, all right, settle down. At this time, I can report that Count Luis has not applied to enter the tournament. What? He's not even entering? Then what becomes of us? Our entire purpose in this race was to get closer to him. Don't worry. He's definitely paying attention. He's only in second as it is, so we can't afford to ignore this whole production. Sit tight. I'm sure he'll make a move soon. All right, all right. For those Count Luis supporters, you might want to meet our next entrant. A rising socialite, a man of ambition, godless and fearless, the brash young warrior serving Count Luis, Gladell, the Black Hound. <laughs> Him? So he was one of Luis's men. The fallen king embraced sanctism and all its holy tenants, and for what? He was nothing before Lord Luis. Look to the sky all you wish. No god can save you! What our country needs is power! Well, it's not quite all the contenders, but let's get on with the introductions. The great liberal merchant, it's Roger Ward. By war, by conquest, by right, it's Rudolf Krauss. In it more for the gauntlet runners than the throne, it's Lena Caden. Sure to be popular by pledging free drinks for life, it's Loveless O'Shea. Uplifting the beautiful and deposing the hideous, it's Milo Maurizio. <coughs> if we lose this, I think the country has some even bigger problems. <sighs> now, I do believe we have one final candidate. Do we have an Elden Boy present? Come on, huh? let's see your face. What? An elder? Disgraceful. Is this the only way you could think to distinguish yourself? <clears throat> by the way, the <coughs> still hasn't arrived. And uh, if it doesn't show up by the time the noon bell rings, you're disqualified. All right? Hey! What's going on? That nitwit! What is he doing? <sighs> so, contestants, are you ready? Huh? What? Last, I say! Wait! How'd you behave? A land runner? It's quick! Wait, it's headed right for the... It'll crash! Whoa! <coughs> what the heck is that? Beautiful. Oh, so much for a first impression. What the hell? Is it your marble jumps? You don't! You nearly brought down the cathedral! Ooh. Have I cared? when Luis did it the first time. That feckless, shameless old fool. Not bad, kid. I guess you've got some interesting tricks up your sleeve after all. Right! I'd call that a full roster. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, race across the land. Go! Prove yourself worthy and earn your crown. For the people, for the throne. Let the games begin! We must take to the road. Come on, come on! The 
Just a sec. Oh, uh, can you hear me? Uh. Let's see. This is amazing! I don't know a thing about gauntlet runners, but even I can tell this is a hell of a craft. I can hardly believe she's ours to drive. You're telling me that! Feels like ages since I've been out on the open road! This girl's... So this is what you use to talk with the driver? Convenient, that. Look, old fellow, are you really on our side? You realize... Money? What I want is a little gospel. It is at that. That's the ticket. <laughs> Brilliant, isn't it? Yeah. You have a good head on your shoulders, boy. Yes. <coughs> well, two ladies, the world is our... You certainly are a different person behind the wheel. Hey, Hulkenberg. Can we get... That man is Neurus. An Ishkia, if it was not obvious from the wings. And despite... <laughs> everything... He was heir to what? He's a master engineer, of course, positively peerless. Neuras, are you there? I'm coming in. Even amidst all this commotion in town, I find ah, it's too much to do. As always. To business, then. I must. No new commissions. No time for them. Ask them not. It is not the new one I require. Before. <laughs> Without a formal owner, I reasoned that it must now lie unused. Fish and Tosh will. Tis an unreasonable request, I know. But I'd not be asking without a grave. Ah! T'was specially made for his highness, yes. Not a work you'd have sold off. Where lies it now? I... I've deadlines to meet, dash it! Oh. You've been acting stranger than you... Whoa! Good God. The very craft commissioned for His Highness the Prince. Even knowing His Highness was gone, still you toiled away. Um, yes. <laughs> However, for a craft meant for the royal family, did you really build this vi- Ah, you. Uh, well, at first, uh, certainly. I followed the blueprints exactly. A masterpiece like her? Collecting... <laughs> uh, I'm... You! Poloni! Brazen court engineer! Butchering His Highness's inheritance for a hobby! For this... Main... Ah, ah, mercy! Please! Look... This... Then I suggest you cooperate. For both our sakes. 
Finish your tinkering. Eh? What's all this now? You play the proud soldier at me and then pluck it. Tis no scheme. For his heart. Hold a tick. Haven't you been looking? And now you want. Is. That's it! I've got you! Twas his highness who gave you refuge while you were only a heretical scholar condemned by the Sanctists. Understood. Is that enough? Can this old duck really handle an un- I know what you're thinking, but tis at least true that he feels an undying- Pish and tosh, boy! A little faith! Not to brag, but this old duck's crop. I think. How encouraging. All I want is to push this runner as far and as fast as she can go. Show her off to the world. I don't know about this, but I guess we'll just have to trust him. I think we can count on him. If you're sure, I suppose. Either way, he knows the prince is alive. So we can't just leave him to his own devices. We're all in the same boat. Oh. You lot can handle the fighting, and I'll handle all the driving and grease work. Just make sure you've got a... This guy's got no filter. But he has a point. So, summing up. Our first trial is to slay a monster. We take its head as proof, then get it to the... Our destination is Port Brylehaven, the capital of the Western Principality of Oceana. It'd be a trek on foot, but this... So getting the bounty's head is our next move. And our target is a nefarious criminal. A criminal? Did the top Don't worry, all part of the plan. We don't need to win this thing. We just need to get everyone's going to show up with monster heads. And we shake things up with a felon. A knight turned kidnapper at that. Shows them Hearts to deliberately violate the rules. Then again, tis just as likely to win the people's What do you think of this plan? I think it's a perfect idea. Makes sense, does it? The bounty's highs, mate. An ex knight. I realize that's a little close to hope. No. His title is precisely why I cannot let his atrocities stand. And yet, then again, our true aim is beyond... Our fate rests in this... Thank you. <clears throat> right, sir. Uh, then our course is set. Feel free to use anything in the court... Good to know. We can always look around more thoroughly later. Yes. You needn't tire yourself out. Well, I'm a tinkerer and not much else. All my fighting happens in the old workshop. But I... After all, the wilds out there are no very picnic. Oh, no. It's a den of wild beasts, savage scoundrels. So, if you need anything besides a steady hand on the wheel, give me a hoot. Bound to find me in the... He's certainly an eccentric.
where was I? Fascinating. You can... Oh. Hello. That is... Please, do make yourselves comfortable. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you'll come again. Gauntlet Runner arrives at the desert camp as the scorching sun sinks below the horizon. 
and the curtain of night falls over the land. Protected within the stalwart hull of the Gauntlet Runner, the party gains a short, peaceful respite. Now then, speaking of, what's that about it? Oh, I see, I see. Then, All right. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Good morning. True. <laughs> I knew it. Got a moment? Hey! Yeah. Right. All right. All right. I say, uh, we could stop for a break. Coming now into view is the Tree of Prophecy, a resplendent tapestry of color against the backdrop of the bleak desert. One theory is that the tree's roots gorge on the land's magma, and still another is that it gorges on those enraptured by its colorful foliage, as though themselves snared by the bewitching magma surrounding the tree. The Gauntlet Runner comes to a stop at its base. Uh. 
that? Certainly. The Gauntlet Runner arrives in a quiet clearing, concealed by boulders, as darkness reclaims the wilderness for itself. Monsters run rampant in the wilds. To sleep here would be perilous, unless from within the safety of a Gauntlet Runner. The party, secure in their Gauntlet Runner, spends the night in peace, hidden from hungry gazes. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. to fly everywhere. What the? Did we just crash? Of course not! That's a... A cannonade. <laughs> My star is rising! Sanctism will... It's them. Remember, from the opening ceremony. I think one of them is Godot, Forden's confidant. And the other is... Prominent candidates. Shouldn't the king's map... No, see where they're aiming. 
They're not shooting to kill, just to take out the opposing runner's legs. Stuck out in the wilds with no working runner. Well, they survive. So it is a clash to hold each other's advance. Damn fools. Look, over by the legs. That crier is there too. I see. Acting as witness to the higher candidate's conflict. What's our plan? If we just hang back and watch, the Doe's gonna win. And Vorden gets a leg up on the competition. Let's give Glodell a hand here. Good thinking. That way, we could win Luis's regard. Agreed. Let us ride. I say, hold on! Now, I realize you're a no-name candidate, eh? It's a runner, isn't it? If things get too dicey, we'll just run. Didn't you say we had the fastest craft? Uh, fine. Suppose there's no room for caution. Okay, then, it's settled. There should be an external runner phone out there. We're here to help. Withdraw, Gladell. Who goes there? Why do you stand for Luis's forces? Well, um, sorry. Can't get into it now. That corner. You're that commoner candidate who destroyed the Grand Cathedral. So be it. Interfere in my... Is it fame you seek? You thought by... I hate to interrupt, old egg, but it's a touch more... We of the Crown Theocracy's monk army... Your petty ruses are beneath me. Now... Remember, the King's magic means we cannot move to strike the... Go for his followers first. We'll thin their numbers and... Go, my brethren! Put the... Don't forget about the petrification magic! Are you prepared? I'll cut you down! The power of healing. Let's go! No way. Let's work together! You're looking good here. Expose your Allies, sin. together! Let me help! What could you hope to achieve? It's nothing. <laughs> he knows we can't attack him. He's Give me your aid! Bloody hell! It's not I can't working. move! Can't I will usher you to his side. Observe the enemy. 